Is COVID-19 an enemy to be defeated through severe measures or waves that come and go? Was the storming of the United States Capitol an insurgency or protest? Is the war in the Ukraine a special military operation or a full-scale invasion and devastation? The words we choose to describe things influence matters of life or death, illness or health, injustice or the right to thrive. Multiple ongoing global crises have demonstrated that the politics of language is crucial to our collective outcomes. How then our use of language shape our understanding and perception of the world around us? And how can our answers help us face pressing challenges of our time? As a scholar of the history of philosophy, specializing in the Buddhist and Brahmanical traditions of India, I investigate how philosophers have addressed these fascinating questions that remain extremely relevant to this day. The overwhelming capacity of language to shape our shared sense of reality has long been recognized by Buddhist thinkers. My research, working with manuscripts and in archives, has found out that during the first millennium CE, an important Indian Buddhist philosophical school, the Yogacara, has argued that all of our language use is in fact metaphorical. We're just unaware of it most of the time. This approach is strikingly similar to some contemporary theories of linguistics. However, being Buddhist, the Yogacara was also deeply concerned with the problem of human suffering. According to the Yogacara, our suffering is the outcome of our inability to properly adjust to reality as it rapidly shifts around us. A major factor contributing to this failure is the inadequacy of our language and abstract concepts to capture, describe, or generalize what is by nature a fleeting and fluctuating stream of events. This predicament, however, is not the end of the story. It can be overcome, says the Yogacara school, by being made aware of the metaphorical nature of our language. This helps us realize how much our own conceptions fabricate and veil the world around us. Once we were awakened to this reality, we can more easily discern fake from real, right from wrong, and we can utilize the creative powers of language not to obscure and deceive, but to enlighten and liberate.